and tell you that Bill Gates is not a scientist, not a doctor, yet creates vaccinations, and is also connected to the Mark of the Beast and then some. Pay very close attention to what I'm about to show you. you have a little demo you'd like to show us. That's right, Dev. Not only does the new Windows Attorney get you on the web, now it replaces the human soul. What? We've digitally enhanced the soul. Now just point and click to absolve all your sins. What? <laughs> Vengeful deity needs a timeout. <laughs> and so do we. Stay tuned. When we come back, you can send Bill Gates to heaven or hell. also enjoys spirit cooking and a mock representation of eating human flesh. She also has ties to Podesta and has been seen emailing him via WikiLeaks emails. This ad was removed shortly after its launch, receiving almost 20,000 dislikes. I do believe the people are waking up to this evil occult. I really want viewer to be with me in the space, in here and now. The life is dealing with what is going to stay after I'm not there anymore. And I can face myself. And that's a frightening experience. Really like you face your own ghost. There is always this great idea of immortality. Once you die, the work will never die because the work of art will continue. In performance, the piece is only in the memory of the audience and nowhere else. Here. I am kept forever. This new vaccination that they want to tie to the body, the frequency, they speak of the spirit and embodiment. The Bible also speaks of the embodiment of spirits, God the spirit. In the same principle, if there were only God the spirit in the universe and there was no Bible, God to us would be the same as radio waves. We would not be able to grasp him or find him. But thank God that his word is here. This word is the embodiment of himself. God the Spirit is contained in the word. This is why the Lord Jesus said that his word is spirit. In the same way we can say that the word in the Bible is the spirit. To put this in a clearer way, we can say that the Bible is the embodiment of the Spirit. This new digital vaccine, virtual reality, cryptocurrency invention talks about embodiment of Spirit. These embodiments are described in sufficient detail to enable those skilled in the art to practice the invention. And it is to be understood that other embodiments may be utilized in that structural logical and electrical changes may be made without departing from the spirit and scope of the invention. Not only does the new Windows Attorney get you on the web, now it replaces the human soul. What? We've digitally enhanced the soul. Now just point and click to absolve all your sins. What? <laughs> this next clip 
is allegedly in the basement of the Pentagon. They are speaking of the VMAT2 gene, a gene that allows certain thoughts to enter and it's almost as if this is the part of the brain that we use to comprehend like our religious beliefs. Now, there have been reports surfacing online back when this was posted that it is fake. Snopes considers it fake. However, you may want to look into Snopes. From the looks of this, you can see that it is not faked. The people speaking corresponding with the speaker are not faked. You will also notice that it says Pentagon Room BC232 DOD ID is 149AZ2 Project Funvax which actually stands for Religious fundamental fundamentalism. Always do research for yourself. And I think this is very interesting and this correlates with what we've been speaking as because the virus that goes with Project Funvax is a type of influenza virus that targets religious fundamentals or religious radicals. Listen closely. I also paid attention to the speaker's actions, the way that he spoke. Looks to me like this is, in fact, Bill Gates. Pay attention to his hand movements and how he answers questions. What you are about to hear is not science fiction or conspiracy theory, but a glimpse of what is going on behind the closed doors of the United States Pentagon. In a small auditorium labeled BC-232, a man is presenting a discussion on how the military-industrial complex can spread a virus and use a vaccine to extinguish what the Pentagon calls undesirable human behavior. Specifically in this case, religious behavior. This is dark science, my friends. With all the mandatory vaccine programs in the United States, do not be deceived for a moment that something like this will not or possibly hasn't already been used on the American public. Let's take a look, shall we? Excuse me, on the left over here, we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics, and this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, we have individuals, in so, so, so let, let me complete. So over here, we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious, and you can see there's a, a much reduced uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the VMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the VMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this, we'll eliminate this behavior. Uh, so we have some, some very, very uh, remarkable data in this next slide. Uh, here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different individuals with different levels of expression of VMAT2. Uh, 
On top uh, is an individual who's a religious fanatic, an individual, and we've repeated this numerous times, that, that uh, has uh, high levels of EMAT2. Now, um, this individual down here who had low levels of the BMAT2 gene, this individual would uh, self-describe as, as, as not particularly religious. In, in each case, uh, these individuals were, were read a religious text. Uh, this individual uh, light lit up um, the, the right middle frontal gyrus uh, shown here. And uh, that's a part of the brain that's associated with theory of mind. Uh, it's a part of the brain that, that uh, has to do with intents and, and beliefs and, and desires. Uh, in contrast, in marked contrast, here's an individual who would uh, not particularly uh, self-describe as, as religious. And when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing something. Uh, so you're suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a first <laughs> bullet in their head? So, so um, the, the data that I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do uh, CT scans or fMRIs on, on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would, would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed, the aerosol? Well, so, so the, the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses, uh, such as flu or or uh, rhinoviruses, and uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses, and, and we're, we're quite confident that, that this will be a, a, a very successful uh, approach. This is fascinating. What's the name of this proposal? Yeah, so, so the name of this project is FunVax, which is the vaccine for religious fundamentalism. And you have a proposal already? The proposal uh, has just been submitted, and I think that the data that I have shown you today would, would support uh, the, the development of, of this project, and we think it has great promise. Is that something that come, came to you from <coughs> your Christianity, from <laughs> your base, you know? Is that something that come, came to you from <coughs> your Christianity, from <laughs> your base? Do you do you think it's it's fair that you as an individual uh, have as much influence as you have? No, it's kind of strange that uh, uh, you know people who are super successful uh, often have more influence uh, now. You know, if you have that, hopefully you try and use it not just to increase your net worth or your uh, glory, but for broader causes. But yeah, it is an unusual system uh, that uh, very successful people have, have more influence. How much money have you given away so far? Um, well, well over $40 billion. What's the simplest answer to the question people might ask, which is the vast majority of your giving uh, benefits non-Americans. Why do you do that? Well, we give uh, 500 million a year to U.S. education, so that's our second biggest area. Our biggest, by quite a bit, is the global health work. And there, because there was such a vacuum uh, that very few people were working in that space, including bringing scientists in to create new vaccines, uh, First Corinthians 9.25 And every man that striveth 
for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corrupt crown, but we are incorruptible. Much love you.